Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Gospel According to Jeremy, episode eight. Um, Your last episode under contract. It's my yeah. last one. We're in it now, man. It feels like Christmas season, like the holidays. You've got your holiday sweater on. Christmas time is Okay. <laughs> You did something different with your hair today, too, I noticed. It's straight. Yeah, oh, you straightened I it. I like it. I just straightened it. You guys... Uh, I kind of go back and forth, straight curly, straight curly. You guys look good. I, you know, this was... <laughs> you guys look This good. was going to be audio Thanks. only. And so um, I hadn't really even considered what I would be wearing to these, but uh, we've had a lot of people watch them on YouTube, which I can't... It's hard for me to imagine just sitting in my living room mm. watching this. Like, it would seem well, so boring. No, I do. Like, I watch this back over and over again. You love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just watch that one shot, actually. <laughs> Straight on one. <laughs> Straight shot of myself. I do a separate edit just so I can yeah. I love watching yeah. myself back. Um, but yeah, this is... But you watch podcasts. I, I do. I uh, Occasionally, if one is super interesting, I might like watch it. But um, it's been yeah, really but fun. If it were up to you, you'd watch your one podcast. You love to watch it, and it's... Boring. What is? Can you say what it is? Oh yeah, I watched the Nate Bergetzi Nate Land um, podcast. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, those guys are really Nate's funny. funny to me. That yeah. and Smartless are my two. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hutch is a Hutch big Smartless. Smartless fan. Yeah, I mean they're great. I, not that I don't like. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just loves. Them. He loves them. Yeah, he wants so to be. Funny. He feels like they're his friends. That's, yeah, but that's a uh, that's, that's the beauty of a good podcast. That's a really. It's a, just a festive sweater. It looks good. Thank you. I, it's weird I how the, the so holidays like. I, it's it's weird how fast they like you're it's normal and then all of a sudden you're in them yeah and you keep hitting that the weather I hit, hitting what that camera you keep knocking my shot out of balance what, you see it moving or <laughs> yes, something it's like <laughs> all right it's the most important sorry shot i didn't mean to have. hit you i didn't mean to i totally interrupted your that's thought. okay but anyways what i was saying is we've got like normal life and then uh our weather has yeah. turned yeah, my my top. It, I noticed that you put the top up. I had yeah. to. Yeah, but today you can put it down. It's going to be fifty five today. Yeah, so I, it is going to go back down. My, I I realized this week that my threshold is like forty nine, probably. That's insanity. I know, that's but pretty cold. You turn that's your you turn the heaters cold. on. Yeah, that's true. My Jeep has a great heater. Yeah, like you can be cold and it it'll blow you out. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, do I, you have seat heaters in that thing? Mm hmm. Yeah. KJ has seat heaters. Yeah, the name of my the name of my car is KJ. Karen that's, Jean. Karen Jean. That's okay. her name. Um, anyway, so uh, <laughs> here in Franklin, Tennessee, it is now. Uh, if it, it feels like fall is almost, it's like over. It's cold. Listen, we only have this little window where cold is acceptable. Other than that, we need to be warm. But yeah. this month needs to be cold. True. Don't you feel like fall goes too fast, though? I feel I like fall, we rush, like fall, I want it to slow down a little bit because I love Christmas. I love Christmas. But I'm one of those types that like, it's it's almost like I want to savor it coming a little bit longer. Like I want a little bit more of the leaves. Well, I mean, this year was like 80 stupid degrees. Mm -hmm. Makes me so mad. Yeah. I mean, who we need to talk to about this? Because 80 degrees in the fall is not acceptable. Yeah. You want it, what, 70? It needs to be like 65, oh, okay. 72. Like in, I can get down with in that. there. I mean, that that's where we need to be. And then as soon as Thanksgiving's over, we need to be cold and snowy. Yep. And then once New Year's is over, I'm ready You're done to with the cold. Let's move to Same. move to Florida. Yep. And then or California and be done with it. But do you guys wait for Christmas till after Thanksgiving? Like do you respect and honor the Thanksgiving Normally, holiday? Normally, yes, but this year we didn't. This year our daughter really wanted uh the stuff up. Yeah, this has been a busy like We put up our decorations early. With Sadie's birthday, so Sadie Claire's birthday is the sixteenth, and so of November. Yeah, so it's always but this year. On the 16th. Like it's. Was there golden? Christmas is er, the December is just so busy. Mm -hmm. It's just like everything gets packed into one. I tell month. you what, though, this is my second Christmas season not working for a church. Oh, that's awesome! Oh man, oh. yeah. Church at a oh. church at Christmas and Easter. No is disrespect, the worst. but yeah. It dominates your holiday. It does. Oh my gosh. Especially when you have like a million Christmas Eve services. Yes. Yeah. How many so, did you guys have? Well, it depended on the season, but you know, the, we, I think 1.30, 40 across That's all our insanity. campuses. Yeah. 
So by the time I would get to Christmas morning, I was just done. I was spent, had no Christmas Eve, Mm. you know, and then just, and then we try to take the week off after. So in the church world, you're trying to get everything ready for new year, which is big. Everyone's coming back to church, but you got to get all that done before Christmas. So like November and Christmas and December, you're jamming so much into this. I do not miss that. No. Yeah. When we lived in California, I was, we were working as worship pastors and, the, we had two Christmas Eve services, which wasn't we bad at all. We just had two. And I, the first year, I wrote like uh, a Christmas, kind of a Christmas program mm-hmm. for it. And uh, I wanted it to be simple. I wanted a, a band to be able to learn it in an afternoon. Yeah. And it it was great. And we ended up doing it seven years in a row. Yeah, it was and really good so and sweet. So coming up to Christmas, it was like everybody wanted it to be the same. Yep. So I didn't really have... All of that angst. Oh yes, you did. Well, I mean, I I wanted it to be good. <laughs> right. But every I, we year we didn't have to do fifteen angst. services. You have to come up with a new ta da. No, thing we every, didn't. Because Christmas is so nostalgic. People yeah. want to yeah. do yeah. their traditions. They want the same thing, the same yeah. songs. You know, whatever. That and that. Yeah, I do appreciate. And where I was, we didn't. It was big, but it wasn't like you know. Some people do big. Like, yeah, they go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we weren't quite to that level. It was just an elevated experience, but man, it dominated yeah. December. I know we were by Saddleback in California. Oh I mean, yeah, their they Christmas thing was nuts. Yeah, yeah, so they they would do you know all the they services you're talking services. about, and then at the end, it's they made snow. Like it would snow every service snow in California. That's it was yeah. crazy. It was cool. They have Saddleback. It was really one, pretty. One side of the auditorium is all glass, and so mm-hmm. at the end of the Christmas program. We went one year because they asked me to write a song for it. And so we went and saw the song. And then at the end of the service, you look over and it's snowing. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. They turned the lights on. Yeah. There. It was cool. cool. But Christmas in California, being from the Northeast, and it's cold out here at Christmas mm-hmm. usually. Being in California, it's, you know, oh, our yeah, kids we... open their presents and then they go outside and rollerblade. And... <laughs> we went to the <laughs> beach vibe. several, several yeah, really? years. We went to the beach. Yeah. I remember swimming in our pool on Christmas in yeah. Florida. Yeah, well, sure. But here, like, we were downtown last night, and Franklin is, it's a Hallmark movie. And it Christmas really, really is. is. It's kind of awesome. It's so, yeah. You I can't mean, come to Franklin and visit in the fall and yeah. Christmas time, or you will uh, live here. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. The it, theater was all lit up, and the streets, and the, you know, the tree's not lit yet, but it was up. And, what and, they do to those trees in the circle with those snowflakes, oh, I it love is that. so beautiful. Yeah. I feel like that's newer the last few years. I yeah. You, yeah. It's beautiful. So they do cool. such a good job. Franklin does it right. I mean, there's, there's a there's definitely a, a vibe. It's so like a there. Christmas movie, though. Did you all see my Nutcracker on the way in? Yes, was the it, deflated one. Oh, was it deflated? Oh, is he supposed to be inflated? Yeah, he's supposed oh, to be inflated. Oh, he's so. laying down there. Right. But what's Take nice about your deflated, like uh-huh. most people's is deflated and it's yours is behind the bushes. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's so cool. So you don't see it. It's 12 feet. Oh, wow. It's a whole, like, it, it's great. It's the guardian of the neighborhood. That's cool. That's yeah. so great. The people down the street, they have a Grinch hanging off the yeah, roof. That, yeah. It looks rough in the daytime. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure at night when they inflate it, <laughs> right, it's got right. a whole thing going, but right now it just <laughs> looks like terrible. trash hanging off the side of the roof. Yeah. But we don't, they don't follow us anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, whoever yeah. that is. Yeah. With the trash hanging off the roof, they were big fans. I don't even, <laughs> they don't deserve to. So uh, you were in New York. This yes, past I was, week. and I didn't want to come home. Yeah, how was that? It was so fun, and I love. I mean, I was telling him last night we had amazing experiences. People say New Yorkers are rude. We had, I mean, the They're sweetest nice people, so sweet. What yeah. did you do when you were there? We saw Hamilton. Oh man, Sadie cried the entire time because yeah. she's always wanted to see it. We had tickets to see it in Miami, actually, with friends of ours. COVID hit, mm-hmm. all that. So she knows every word, but she's like singing oh, along. Oh, we both know every word. No, she didn't sing. She wants to see the choreography, and so she just is like taking it all glued. In. Yeah, yeah. This this fall is it's sort of the fall of Sadie Claire because she's she turned sixteen on the sixteenth. She woke up that morning, and we had you know shout out to Grammy and Mimi who helped who make paid, this. Well, yeah. they paid for the they whole made this thing. trip happen for her, but we yeah. we kept it. We were able to keep it a secret. She woke up that morning. Uh, we did some stuff. She didn't go to school. We did some stuff at home. And then we said, okay, you got to pack a bag. Yeah. And she's like, what do I put in it? We're like, just pack a bag. We Jennifer told her said, to pack a bathing suit. Put a bathing suit in it. She said, am I going to need a coat? We're like, nah, you're not going to need a coat. <laughs> I packed her coat. <laughs> uh, just a 
throw off the scent. Just to yeah, throw yeah, her yeah. off, yeah. And then at noon, a friend of hers showed up who was who went along with her to New York. And so we were standing in the living room of our house, and, and she still didn't know what was going to happen. And we were like, you're going to New York. And so she was super excited. And then I said something like, and listen, you're 16. You're not throwing away your shot. And then it kind of dawned on her that she, she was seeing Oh, crying. no. Oh, yeah, she yeah. picked up it on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it was, was cool. Awesome. Oh, and one of the original that. cast members was in, was oh, yeah? there. And so she got to meet him. And no way. Yeah, yeah. It was just really fun. Yeah. That is cool. We saw another musical, too. Um, Kimberly Akimbo, which was good. And you saw the Rockettes. And we saw the Rockettes. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. You Maybe know, could do that. people from the Northeast, they are kind. I like... Like they're direct, mm -hmm. but I like it. Like there's well, that's your people. They're my people, right? Yeah. Shout out to the people in the Northeast. <laughs> um, right. We do have quite a few listeners in in our in our hometown in Lancaster, but we uh, every time we go there, I'm like, man, I I love these people. Yeah. It's just my. Yeah. There's a kindness now. They're not people in the Northeast are not. They're not accused of being nice. Mm -hmm. But they're kind. I had a really good experience, and people were very nice to us, except for one guy on the subway who yelled at me. But other than that, but that was probably your fault. Mm, no, probably. <laughs> well, and but I did very good. He yelled at me, and I was you like, didn't "Retaliate!" And I, I kept my cool, and I diffused the situation. But there was another guy sitting there, and he's like, "Look, I was ready." He goes, I was watching. He goes, I was ready to get up and defend you. <laughs> he Why was did really he sweet. yell at you? Were you wearing your MAGA hat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a MAGA hat. Thank you very much. Well, I do have Pawpaw's old one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know. I, the, my people had gotten on. Sadie and uh -huh. McLaren and Christy had gotten on the subway. And I got separated from them. So I was kind oh, of anxious yeah. trying to get on before the door shut. And he's like screamed at me that I was pushing him, which I wasn't. Subways was just, scare me. I got As a kid, we went to Washington, D.C. And I got on the wrong, well, it was the right train or whatever it's called there. But I was on a different car. And I oh. looked around and I didn't couldn't see my parents or anything. And here I am on well, this. Well, that's like, terrifying. Yeah, and then finally I like looked through the the two windows and I saw my mom like waving at me. But I, for, ever since then, like I'm terrified of yeah subways and I'm not. And now we have cell phones. And I thought of it later. Like I could have just gotten on the next train and we'd have been fine. But yeah. I was just it was just the thought of separating from because Sadie would have freaked out. Yeah, okay. you did good. You good. You fought, good. fought fire with that water. That shows growth. I did. I know. I was so proud of myself. I know. Christy, my friend that was with us, she was like, man, you handled that really well. I would have. I escalate situations. I'm not good. If someone if someone goes here, I go, I one-up them. That's yeah. my normal, but I think I was just like, okay, this would be really bad. I, I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't know why I did good, but I did. When we were first married, I, I normally de-escalate. Do you? Uh, yeah. Oh, you're so holy. Well, no, it's not that. I, I, but when we were first married, she grew up with two sisters, and they'd yell at each other. and So she'd yell at me, and I'd try to yell back, but you can't. <laughs> I mean, It's very unnatural for you. Well, she's in that kind of argument, she's going to win. I mean, I could try to say something mean, and she's so proud. She the face you made was like, she'd come back with the something. nicest thing you've ever said. <laughs> like, Thanks, babe. <laughs> well, like I said, I mean, my my nickname was Jackass for what? Dumbass. Sorry, Get dumbass right. for Jeez. five years. Can we say that on you? I don't know. It's his gospel. You can say what he wants. Yeah, I guess so. Well, you guys aren't really letting me talk that much. So, <laughs> <laughs> listen, you buy me a whole coffee, and then yeah, you expect to talk. I don't. Think and so. you have to pee. I, 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 so there's the urgency. Yeah, you talked about yeah. it before we started. She's got her chatty juice. You know, <laughs> chatty juice. Fill her up with caffeine, and it's like it's like winding her up. <laughs> the whole episode is Jeremy trying to get a story or a point across, <laughs> and just absolutely. I will say one thing: you're brilliant at is remembering where you were and coming back to that point after we really? derail you. Well, that's probably good. Yeah, because we like to derail you. Yeah, that's okay. We like to get away from the gospel, according to Jeremy, too. Yeah. False gospel. We're Random gonna We're actually going to talk about that a little bit, because I've had a lot of comments from people going, I'm not sure. I mean, I actually got one comment I was going to read. It was just like, FYI, as nicely as I can say this, the gospel, according to Jeremy, doesn't sit right with me. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of our comments? <laughs> just my opinion. Yeah. All right. Thanks. I get that. Thanks. My mom says the same Thanks, thing. Thanks, Gary. Um, my mom's like, I'm not sure that's okay. <laughs> so anyway. So Especially you were, when, when you talk about what we're talking about. It's like, ew. Well, okay. Let me just explain. The name, um, 
So <laughs> I love we got a hate comment. Oh, we got more than that. Oh, we did? Well, not hate, but just like, hey, what? It's accountability. I mean, I got one that was just like, what's the point of this, bro? I mean, I'm getting these like. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, you know. my That's a lot. The, the, so I was actually thinking about my next book, titling it that, because I, you know, the, the obviously I know that the gospel according to me is not the same as the gospel according to Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. <laughs> But I do think that we should share the life experience we have with mm-hmm. God. And so I do think there should be a gospel according to Jennifer and Drew and Jeremy. And of course, it's not the same as the Holy Bible. But like, you know, I've used this, somebody asked me to explain this, and I used this, this analogy. I, I think Jesus wants us to be actually preach the gospel according to us, like our experience with God. Mm Kind of like your testimony. Yeah, a little bit, like your testimony. Do you think when you thought of this podcast, you didn't really think it was going to go in these weird turns? Yes, you were expecting it to be serious. Well, I wasn't expecting it to be serious. I, I probably just didn't understand what the chemistry of this power triangle was going to be. The power triangle. You didn't know we were going to talk about pooping our pants. Right. (laughs) <laughs> yes. this, we're just getting started you have no idea where this can go i love this comment i got i just got this this morning uh this is from um uh well i, I don't i didn't ask anybody if i could use their name yeah maybe but, don't so it says i love the podcast i've listened all the way through to every one of them it, that actually says a lot. I don't spend much time with podcasts, being more a music guy. I love the dynamic between you and Jennifer and the stories, the thoughts and feelings, oh. the counselor in you love and the out. way you think. I love that so much. Look forward to watching. Tell Jennifer she can't back out now. She just <laughs> needs to stay part of it. I like what she brings, her perspective, and that she's fearless and just says what's on her mind. And then it just goes, she's honest. <laughs> oh, I love that. See? That's a great comment. I agree. Oh, I agree. Thank you. You, have to, you have to keep going. I am yeah. going to have to get paid at some point, though, if I'm going to stay. And he sent me he sent me this picture. He was in his... Now, of course, I'm using a printer from the 80s, but... Uh, it's, that is a terrible it's, photo. It's oh, there I am. Oh, there you are. There me, there's me being honest. It's him watching, you know, in, with this... Uh, you know, That's the cool. Yeah. I don't So it's understand. not all hate comments. No, no, no. It's not all hate. I got another one here. Um, uh, this one is from the YouTube. It says, I, I stumbled upon your podcast, oh. and I have listened to all of it. I just have to say thank you. I'm really enjoying what you're bringing. Aww. You're entertaining, and you're thought-provoking. Keep up the great work. How that sweet. That was with this other comment that was like, hey, I, this doesn't sit right with me. So, oh, it, what do you mean it was well, with Well, it? it was, you know, not the same person. But oh, yeah, okay. Okay, okay. So, okay. yeah, we're getting, we're getting some good, really... Good and bad. Yeah, good feedback. Salt and pepper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Our kids uh, don't listen to it. No. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, I did get comments. I guess Hutch just has seen... Cl- I don't know. He's like, you say really stupid stuff on there. <laughs> That's what well, he said about me. <laughs> we, told him, we told him we got home last week about the uh, rocket ship and the bottom thing. Oh, and God. Why did he we just, talk about He that? looked at us like, oh, my gosh. What was it? You guys are so stupid. The suppository when he was oh, a baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, why I could see do, how that would... Yeah. Why do we talk about that stuff? I don't know. I can see where people are like, oh, is this the gospel? Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe. What yeah. does the word gospel actually mean, though? Well, the good go- news. Right. So, it actually means, gospel actually means good news of a new king. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so it is a little heretical. <laughs> That's really yeah, what it means. More well, narcissistic, at least. Maybe yeah. we should change it. The new king. Well, can we change it at this point? I well, just always I, took it as like this is this is the good news according to you. This is what I have to share according yeah, to like from your perspective. That's what I meant. And I think that's probably what you had in mind originally, but you didn't know I was going to derail it. It's okay though. Is it? Yeah, this whatever this is, it's it's fine. Yeah, it's it's good. Okay. Um. Anyways, we, back to our the thing I was going to say about the holidays. So this oh, is sorry. this has kind of been the the see what I mean. He's the, a great the season of. Sadie Claire. So Sadie is in uh, Nutcracker yes. this year, and what do you mean, is like this, in the performance? She's yes. in it. Yes, she's this up is her on. Dream I want to go she see was it. Can we? Baby. Yeah. So she's she's in it. She's the she's the kissy doll. She's the girl that gets wound up in the party and comes to life. And oh, cool. And yeah, she's also great. a rat. And the rat. She's a rat, a <laughs> snowflake, and also a, um, really runs the spectrum there. A flower. Yeah. In the flower court. Okay. She does all kinds of stuff. Is it a school deal or? 
it's her, her dance place. Her dance place? Oh, But they yeah. do this every year. But it's her first year. She told me when she was two, Mama, I can't live without ballet. Wow. She was two. That's a big statement. It's a big yeah. statement. And, so, it, and it is proved like she... She loves it. She, yeah, I mean, ballet probably isn't her favorite type of dance, mm -hmm. but... To be in the Nutcracker. I mean, yesterday we were doing some stuff for the show, and she's like, "Man, if Little Sadie could see me now, she would be freaking out." That's fun. She but, said that. Yeah, she's oh, like, "Fun, man." If yeah, so it's it's so she's so thriving cool. right now. Well, uh, what I was going to say, some areas. Is she's thriving, <laughs> but this is really like her birthday, and then the Nutcracker has kind of informed our whole. Yeah, because it's such a big deal, and it's hard, and she's good at it. Yeah, and so next week we have all these. Uh, Nutcracker performances and, and yeah, and yeah. So she's Hutch feeling left out. You think? No. no oh gosh, no. It. He no, doesn't no. even. We never see him. No, he's he's in and out he's of the house. He's in his own world. Yeah. He's no, he's he's thing. he's doing great. But this is it's and he's got a new song coming out on the fifteenth of December. Something like that. Yeah. But he's you know this it's actually cool to because Sadie doesn't you know she's not a self promoter no. and so I mean having having this be kind of her season and I'm trying to I'm trying to like ballet you know because yeah. i don't i don't get it yeah. i mean it, i know that it's hard and you know brian regan has that joke in his last special he's like i've been going to the ballet and i'm trying to learn how to like that a little bit it's like it's a lot of up on the toe business. <laughs> a lot yeah. of that. and so um <laughs> i'm with you on that i don't get it we went to the nutcracker in nashville oh you did yeah and i just it was lost on me yeah i, I mean, have to start and this is so childish the only way for me to to keep myself entertained is when I silently, every time they jump, make a fart noise <laughs> to my That's kids, awesome. and they get real. They laugh, and so now That's it's like a thing. And it's really? a you, make, yes. you make it with your mouth. Oh, with my mouth. Yeah. Because I was like, man, if on, on command, command. <laughs> that's like I could only dream. <laughs> wow. That would be an amazing yeah. talent. But no, that's kind of how I get through it. That is fun. Or anything like figure skating, whenever there's a, oh, that's a, a triple great sal idea. cow or whatever, you just, and yeah. it makes it way more entertaining. <gasps> okay, that'll make, because I have to go to several performances. That'll make yeah, it a little just more. Do it. If you, yeah. you do it in your head, it might be all right. Yeah. Yeah. The, up on the toe business is very barbaric. It's hard. Like, well, and it's, it's probably painful, hard. right? Yeah. I mean, like, so it's, yeah, it's barbaric what they do to their feet. It's kind of, I don't know. It reminds Torturous. me of the Chinese binding. Oh, yeah. When they, oh, no. It's just not healthy. No, yeah. Not good. I couldn't but, fit this big old injured foot in that. I told you to elevate it. I'm not I'm not cut out for that. It's anything with feet work. You don't have the body style no. of a ballerina? <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Whatever the opposite of the ballerina body style is. I have the bottom half of a ballerina. You do. You've yeah. got the calves that would be great for oh, a ballerina. Oh, man. I get. Really? Yes. Great calves. I get, I, I've evidently, I mean, gay dudes love my calves. They really? Do. Yeah. I mean, they're like compliments on it. I do. He really? Does. I actually, people actually like go, "Hey, man, what are you doing with your calves? Is this all natural?" Yeah. I mean, he I don't, didn't get implants. If that's what you're. Well, I don't know if you like. I don't know if you work. He doesn't them out. work them out. Trying to no, no. I mean, I don't do it on purpose. I have, you know, I'm built just like SpongeBob. I think we talked about it on here. I mean, Probably. I've got two toothpicks, and then, you know, my upper half is not ballerina. But your calves are ripped. Yeah, I don't know why. They are ripped. I mean, he's got really good muscles. I could be a calf model. You could, and a hand model. He's got beautiful hands. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't realize, like, hands are sexy to they me. They matter. Mm. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. You see them things. He's yeah. got really sexy hands. see those paws. Yeah. They're, they're, they're all right. They're beautiful. Yeah. He's got nice looking hands. I don't know that I, I've been looking at your hands, and I don't think they're bad or good or whatever. I don't think I know what makes a good hand. Yeah, I don't either. Well, put them up. Let's see them. Like... Look, this, at that. look, this is not translating for the people who are watching well, yeah. or, or listening audio-wise. Now listen, if you're just listening and not watching, you're, you're missing, missing out. out. Those <laughs> are sexy hands right, right, right there. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm just going to do a whole podcast where just it's just hands. a hand shot. Yeah, we can do a hand shot. <laughs> yeah, just a hand shot. Um, they should funny. have their own podcast, oh. I'm saying. But anyway, so look, if you're listening, this is fun getting these pod, th these uh, comments. So yeah. send them to me. If, you, if you're watching on YouTube, you can just put them at the bottom or you can Instagram them. Um, it's at the gospel according to Jeremy. You can just send it's This is this fun hearing back from people. Yeah. I, I, like I didn't that. realize how this was going to have a life of its own. And so it's, you know, it's been a highlight for me. And um, yeah, I, look, I, if, if you'll stay on, that'll be great. I'll think about it. Okay. The money has to be right. She's playing hard to get. That's right. Don't put it on the calendar. Schedule it because she'll freak out. For real. <laughs> like, 
man, uh, she can't, like I told her, I said, with, with all the stuff going on in December, I feel like I need to whiteboard this and just put it in our house because kids are everywhere. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But yeah, that would really. So what are your hopes out. and dreams for the podcast moving forward? So it's taking a life of its own. It's, yeah. not what you would, it's not what you thought it was going to be. No, but it's better. Oh, it's better? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Is it better? No, no, Because I was better. afraid you were like. Yeah, I, was, I no, didn't know which direction he was going on. It's that. better. Ooh. Well, I mean, you when you, when I mean, it was your idea. And when we talked about it, we were going to talk maybe about the book and tell some stories. Yep. And then I was going to do the tree ring thing. Um, but we haven't done any of that. Stuff. No, but we will. That's the thing. You know, we got we got some time, and and uh, in January, I've got some fun guests that I want to maybe oh, bring on. Yeah, it'll be good. okay. Yeah, okay. it'll be good. Um, but anyway, so you you were in New York, I'm and then to hear about um, that. and that, you know what I oh sorry I saw on your Instagram that you're asking people if I for me to give them advice. Yeah, Jennifer, life advice with Jennifer Diablo. Oh yeah, I saw that yeah. segment. I didn't even know that yeah, was we're, happening. We're going to no. start that segment. Uh, that's going to be a blast. Okay. I mean, I have so much wisdom to give. You really do. That big facts. And you're honest. You're honest. <laughs> yeah, if I'm anything. No, but you know, that's a thing. The honesty, like, I, it's not just about what you say. I mean, we've had, over the course of our marriage, I've, I've heard so many times, like, Jennifer is just, she's just a, sort of a non-anxious presence. And that is, like, she doesn't have guile. It's not, you know, you know that that's a weird word. I, I saw it in the Bible one time. Guile? Yeah, because when, I don't think I've ever heard when that Jesus word. meets you Timothy. You ever read the Bible? Hello. No, when Jesus meets Timothy, I think it's Timothy. <laughs> he, I was waiting for the movie. I watched The Chosen, so pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I've pretty much got the point. Um, so when Jesus meets Timothy, he, I, I want to, I'm sorry if it's not Timothy, but I really think it is. The That word guile is in there because. Timothy comes to him and Jesus is like, yeah, I saw you underneath the fig tree. And he's like, like, he, Jesus is like, yeah, I, I kind of, I already knew you. And, uh, and he, he says to him, when I saw you, I was like, there's a man with no guile. And so I was like, what does that mean? And so I looked it up and it, it, it really means no hidden agenda. Like you're not trying oh. to use people. No guile oh, yeah. is really like you, what you see is what you get. Like in the Enneagram world, it's the Enneagram eights where it's like just honest like no, no dial no like manipulating that. um and so i i think you do have well, that thanks, like because people will come over uh to the house and be like man just being with jennifer is just easy mm -hmm. and i think it's because she doesn't have an agenda with people she doesn't think ahead like how will i make them feel or she's just <laughs> she's just in the moment i'm not sure that's good <laughs> <laughs> no it is good <laughs> I well, agree with that. I felt. I feel that we had oh, friends well, over thanks. the other night. No, but, like we have, we have some friends that have become like PJ friends. Like you come mm -hmm. over and and she came down the stairs literally in her bed pajamas because mm -hmm. she's like, I just want to be comfortable. Yeah, and I think I do. I think I would wear my pajamas here. I don't care. No, you. Well, you care when it's appropriate. Okay. Like you sweatpants on the bottom. I'm sweater. actually wearing jeans today. Okay. It's a miracle. Um, but Marvel. that like that. So much of what I'm learning is about nonverbal communication. Mm -hmm. Like I've got a couple of clients. I, I do couples counseling, okay. oddly enough, but I don't see them together. I say, I, I got to see you separate because getting a couple in the room, there's still some positioning going on. Yeah. And, and, uh, and so what, what we talk about a lot is their nonverbal communication. Hmm. So they're, uh, one, two of the couples especially are having trouble just when they talk, it goes south. Mm -hmm. And I go, well, let's look, there's ways to communicate without having to talk this stuff out. Um, I was sitting with a guy six months ago. Um, we only met one time and he was telling me that he's working on managing his presence. And oh. I was like, I, I was like, well, tell me more about that. Like that. I've never heard that before. Mm -hmm. And he's like, well, you know, like if I, come into a room, even if I'm not speaking, I'm bringing an energy mm. and I, I just want to be aware of how I am influencing kind of the feeling of the room, like the chemistry. He's so like, like how he's showing up in the, that environment. Totally. And, and one of the examples he used was like, I got to know, like when I come home, I'm entering into my wife and my kid's world and I'm a big presence and I don't want to come home and just take it over, just hijack it. Yeah. That's and so true. I that's was like, really man, interesting. that's, that's really great self-awareness too. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize. So Jamie, not too long ago told me that, and I didn't, so I'm a big guy, but I don't, in my mind, I don't carry myself that, like, I don't see myself that, that 
demonstrative and big, right? So like if I see a guy that's like my same height or whatever, he looks like huge to me. Oh, funny. Yeah. And to, it'll be until like I see myself in a picture. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so much bigger than I'm everyone. A giant. You know? So for that reason though, I didn't know how intimidating or or big I could get with her. I didn't feel oh, that. Yeah. Gotcha. And, she, and she expressed like, hey, there's just some times where I feel overwhelmed. Like mm-hmm. you're gotten so I love that. Like, hey, what is it like being on the other side of me? Yeah. This? Totally. It, that I mean, it's like a whole other level of like self awareness. Like if I if I open up Hutch's bedroom door and he's working on music. Like I want to like, okay, what, what am I inserting myself into here? Mm. Or if I walk into my daughter's, you know, you walk into your teenage daughter's bedroom, like that's awkward anyways, but like, okay, what, you know, just my presence here, what does it do? And so we've been, these couples and I've been working on like, how does it look to show up and just don't talk? Like I actually prescribe like there's this this one a client of mine she's she's awesome and they're really I mean they're they're gonna be okay they're great but she was she texted me one day about something and I said you know what just walk in rub his back and walk out you know and she's like just don't say anything I was like no no you don't need to say anything that's cool just go in and and maybe you know they they work on different schedules he does a lot of work at night because he's on his computer and he does video stuff and. She also does stuff, but hers is during the day. And I was like, you know, maybe just sit on the couch for a while and just hold hands. Don't say anything. Just watch a show. Mm-hmm. And and you tell people, and they're like, yeah, I guess that's. I mean, look when you when you talk to a couple about like when they fell in love, almost always they're like, well, I just what what made it for me is I we could ride in the car together and say nothing. Yeah, you hear that a lot. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, pay attention to that. Like what what brought. What brought you to what brings us together does not keep us together, mm. and so this thing that brings us together, ten years down the road, you're like, you know what? Because I hear a lot, I, w- I just wish she was like that, or I wish he would go back to that. And I'm like, you really don't, because you're different now, mm-hmm. and so we got to find the new thing that keeps us together, mm. and it's going to be different than the thing that brought us together. When we were living in California, I was a little, I was a little worried about like married at that point we were married like 25 years and the kids went to youth camp together and we were like, okay, we have a weekend alone. I think it was a week actually. We're we like, went to a whole week. Yeah. And I was like, man, are we going to, are we going to like this? <laughs> Do we still like each other? Yeah. <laughs> totally. Well, like, that's a big thing that happens in relationships, especially as kids get older. Yeah. We're well, like, an empty nest. Well, yeah. and- we actually talked about it. We're like, should we? Yeah. And so we, but we did, we went and drove the PCH and, mm-hmm. and spent like a whole day in the car and we loved it. We sang and we talked and, but there is like later on, you know, a relationship is alive and later on you got to figure out what is keeping it alive. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of times when I say that to couples, I say, Hey, the thing that brought you together is not the thing that's going to keep you together. There's relief. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, okay. So I don't have to get back to the thing. That, right. right. Yeah. And, and that, that does take the pressure off for you guys. You guys did a lot of life to get like, your career was together, mm. all that kind of stuff. Did that, do you feel like that kept you closer or oh. was it, did it feel like it was, you guys were all in each other's stuff all the time? Like there wasn't a separate. Well, I don't know any different, so it's hard. Got it. But I think that was very hard at times. You're singing together. You're on the road together. I mean, we were 24 seven together. Together. Yeah. And yeah. working on the same stuff. And yeah, I mean, but that's all we know. We figured it out. Yeah. It were you was, ever like, I need a break? We need a break from each other. We're with too, each other too much. Yeah, we oh, did. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, we did. And I had to learn that her love language is time alone. Like, she she really <laughs> likes to be alone. And so I had to, you know. I think that's the new one. That's a sixth one. <laughs> that's a sixth there's love a language. quality time, and then there's a time, <laughs> time alone. alone. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Quality time away from you. My love language is leave me alone. Yes. Yeah. I mean, mine is, you know, the typical, I want you to rub my back and tell me how great I am. But hers is like, <laughs> don't talk. Leave me alone. You could rub my back, though. Just don't talk to me. Yeah, you do, like, personal. T- what I'm is like it? a cat. Physical touch. I'm like a cat. You I very really much am. Are, you're very cat-like. <laughs> I'm like, I, I want to be petted, but I want to be just not talked to. <laughs> not a, in a gross weird. way. <laughs> oh, my God. Gosh, you guys. There it is. My word. You're, I didn't uh, mean it at all raunchy. I meant it like a cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I like my feet rubbed yeah. and my back rubbed. I'm that way, too. I Every day, like, if I had a, if I had a bunch of money, I'd probably get a massage a day. 
A- I love it. Men. I if I had it. all the money, I would. That's one of the things I would hire. Me too. First. A masseuse. Yeah, full time, call. just ready. Just, what do you call that? On retainer. On retainer. <laughs> masseuse on masseuse retainer. On retainer. Yep. I agree. The, like you, Jamie and I have talked about that a lot. I mean, that's like with the dream. Is like that's like is that and, on your vision board? <laughs> <laughs> No. A yacht, an in-house masseuse, <laughs> not a yacht. Well, it's funny we were talking love languages because my in-laws were counselor. Like I got the five love languages test the first time I ever met them. Okay, at the, oh, at the snap. dinner table with Jamie and like we're dating. I mean, they're like we're five. So I was just trying to like answer any question that was not physical touch because I'm like sitting there with her dad. I'm like, yeah, no, I, I hate that. <laughs> yeah. I hate being touched. Yeah. Don't yeah, touch exactly. me. Exactly. So I was trying to answer that way. So my kids have kind of grown up with it. And one time we're in the kitchen and Jamie and I are hugging or something, and one of the kids is probably Emery. Looked at me, he's like, Dad, I think your love language is inappropriate touch. I was like, that's not one of them. <laughs> inappropriate touch. I was like, I think you mean just physical touch. And she was like, oh, yeah, 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 that one. Yeah. Inappropriate touch. Yeah, that's not one of them. It grosses our kids out, too. If we, you know. Like, if, I mean, what did you, what did, I feel like something happened the other day that was completely benign and it was like, gross. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> gross. They don't like it. All kids, yeah. It's like, you want to go get coffee? Gross. Gross. Yeah. yeah. But we, I mean, I, I think that. <laughs> I, I really do think that couples need to touch. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, you you forget that you you know we're we're pack animals. We need you know. Well, and he that's is your that is probably Both your love us, language. Yeah. But it's not really my love language. I just feel like I'm in pain, so I need my foot rubbed. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's more of a. I, I always it's, said I could have I could just hire a homeless man to rub my back. It's not about the physical touch for me. Yeah. It's not, you're not receiving horrible, affection. Gonna, you just it's more of a need. It's I'm more hurting. Of a I need, need yeah. I like my back rubbed. But you probably that you could probably get cheap. A homeless man? I yeah. think so too. I mean some of these guys if that I are holding sit down signs. in front of him, maybe he would yeah. I like the I'll, one guy that's holding the sign. He's not holding it. The one guy in the corner of Cool Springs who's just sitting in the chair next to the sign. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. What are you doing out here? Yeah. Like the sign's in yeah. the ground and he just yeah. sits there. I'm like, oh, I, the, the, he should be flipping around and dancing. Oh, yeah. And stuff. I can get yeah, it yeah, if yeah. you're flipping it or doing something. But like, <laughs> why, why do you want to identify with being the guy sitting yeah. next to the sign? I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah. He, he's the guy that holds the mattress store sign. That's right. And you don't oh. get it. Ne- well, I don't even think he's holding it. I think he's just sitting next to it. Yeah, he is. Like, if you're holding, I mean, a mattress store, I need some flipping going on with the Spin sign. it. Do yeah. something. Spin it. Get learn into it. A, like, if you're out there all day, practice with it. Right. Like, we don't care. Drop it. It doesn't matter. But do something. <laughs> Although it's working because we're, we're talking about, about it. Yeah. So I, maybe that's the whole deal. <laughs> but I'm not going to buy a mattress from them. That's true. Good point. What are mattress stores? Have you heard this that they're all money laundering situations? <laughs> Have you ever met anyone that owns a mattress store? I've known furniture store owners, but not but, just mattresses. But mattress stores. I've heard that they're all money laundering. Have you ever heard that? Never. Those are all no. my tinfoil hat people. My my people. Your blurry people? <laughs> I'm not blurry. Okay. Well, so... I don't know what that means. Oh, it's... We just learned it. Yeah, it's it's not worth getting into. <laughs> it, it's all it, the blurry creatures, It takes you listeners. down a rabbit hole of, you know... It's like Bigfoot and stuff. I'm like, not... Oh, God. And aliens oh, and all that junk. Oh, I'm not it. into that stuff. It's like Nephilim. Your people. Mm-hmm. Giants. Giants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pretending I don't know what that is because yeah. I'm one of them. Ooh. Yeah. Look out. So we talk about like in you know we talk about like messaging in our like what you know what are you messaging to this person because that's what they that's what they feel like and I think that's what Jennifer has this her messaging is hey it's it's good we're good everything's really? okay yeah I okay. actually think your mom's that way too now now your mom runs on adrenaline but when when people go into her store she just yeah. projects this kind of hey. It, this is gonna she's, be fun. I'm, I'm welcoming. She's a safe place for customers to and talk. She, but and she's very honest too. She is. Yeah. yeah Maybe that's where is. I get it. She's actually Jennifer's been down there working. Um, my mother-in-law, shout out to her, broke her pelvis. Well, she didn't. It broke. Dang. Her it pelvis broke. is cracked in two places. She didn't do anything. It just no. Was, and that's so that's really upsetting to her. But it's her like her my bones are. Her just bones breaking are, for no yeah, reason. That scares but her, her pain tolerance is unbelievable. This she, woman. She's been walking around with a broken pelvis for however long. Like a month and a half. Like a month. Good grief. Yeah. So she goes in and gets a procedure. She says they're going to shoot concrete in there. The the cracks, they're mm-hmm. going to fill in the cracks with like a, I don't know. A caulking or something like that? Resin. It's almost like a dentist could do it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they do she it. But she's having it pelvis. done. Yeah. So then she's having it done on a Friday. So I'm going down to work at her shop. 
She's like, I said, well, I maybe we'll sh stay over and work Saturday too because those are her busiest days. Oh no, I'll be in there on Saturday. I'm like, yeah, Mom, she's tough. You gotta recover a little bit. Yeah. You know? Because she's going to be all the way under on Friday. But you know what? They might have her up. So my mom, my mom, Grammy, uh, shout out to Grammy. She got out. two new hips. One, yeah. She got a hip replacement. And then a couple of years later, I think, got the other one. But they have, when she got her hips replaced, they had her walk in within hours. Oh, yeah. They let really? you up Oh, because you got to get got yeah. this thing moving. You got to get, you, bodies need to move. Mm -hmm. I know my, I mean, my doc, I have, this is fun. I have high blood pressure now. Oh, um, that is fun. It's been and great. And so, you know, my doctor is like, your life may be a little sedentary. Um, and I was like, yeah, maybe. He's like, are you working out? Or well, I was like, no, I lay down most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not actively in the middle of something. I'm horizontal. You are. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, I know. I, I mean, I love to I lay down. I heard that about in the spiritual direction. You know, a lot of counselors make the person lay down. You actually are the one who lays <laughs> yeah. down. He's I lay down. Opposite. You make them sit and you lay yeah. down and, and give them <laughs> spiritual direction. I'm going to lay down for a little bit and talk to you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I went in for, I went to see my MS doctor because I, you know, I had to have a yearly thing to get my medicine refilled. And the girl, as always, you know, she took my blood pressure and my pulse and temperature and all that. And she, she's like, man, this can't be right. And I was like, well, what's it say? She's like, it says 175 over 25 or 127, 120, stop, 175 <laughs> over 125. <laughs> 175 over 125 yeah. and she's like that's not good dude. she's like that's not good. she's like let me let me do this again something's wrong and so she took it again and it was higher and she's like man this machine must be broken so then she did it the old school way where she puffed the thing yeah. and used the and she's like yeah your blood pressure is really high so then my doctor came in and he kind of talked to me about it that my heart rate my resting heart rate was 108 which is really high. Holy cannoli. That's and so high. he's like, look, man, this is pretty normal for MS. It kind of fluctuates through the day. So now I got to take my blood pressure during the day to know when it's spiking and when it's coming down. What a pain. And then I got this pill I need to take. He gave me this chart. Like if it's above this, take half a pill. If it's above this, take a whole oh, pill. God. If it's above this, go I would to the not doctor. I do well with that. Go to the doctor. Yeah. Well, yeah. and it also like knocks him out. Oh, yeah. The pill is like, it's a... It, I mean, I just feel like Gumby after I take it. Puts so, you right to sleep? Like, yeah, no, just, well, just it doesn't. Like, Ambien puts me to sleep. Mm -hmm. This pill is more like it <laughs> you just... You shouldn't have brought Ambien up. Why? You don't want me to tell your Ambien stories. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, so my sleep... I used to be able to sleep through anything. Mm -hmm. And so... But after I got sick, my sleep has been kind of disrupted. So I take Ambien, not all the time, but when I need it. But it, it's not the same as this other pill. The yeah. Ambien... Ambien makes your brain fall asleep. Yeah. This stuff makes your body feel tired, but your brain yeah. is fully awake and ready to go. But oh, you that's can't. weird. It's so frustrating because I, I want to... that. I want to do stuff. Right. Yeah, I don't like... that. That's the thing. I don't think... I don't think I would like any drugs that make me tired. Like, I wouldn't... Like, I don't think you weed would speed. be attractive. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, you need uppers. I hate Benadryl. Like anything that makes me oh, man. sleepy, but Ambien has got a different thing. It just kind of like, like all of a sudden I'm just asleep. Mm. But Unless, you're not. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but you're not. You think you are. Yeah, I have. The, there's sort of a there's a little twilight window in there where I'm not quite asleep, mm -hmm. and then I do and say things that are regrettable. Oh, um, it's so great though. I mean, he'll say the stupidest stuff, and I just like he'll start talking. What the other day he's like, yeah, the manager's right there. Because he was trying to put a CPAP on. <laughs> and I like, was under the ambulance. manager. And I, I was know, like, what do you, well, who's here? The CVS manager. He's right there. He's talking to, he's trying to tell me how to put this mask on. I'm like, <laughs> okay. I mean, so, that would freak me out. So I keep, I try to keep you him keep going. keep a log of it? No, no, no. I try to keep him going. Oh. Yeah. Can you video it next time? Uh, he would She's get, done that once. And I'm like, please. He gets really mad oh, at me. When I take him, please like, don't talk to me. Like, Oh yeah. He's like, don't do it. So that feels like an invasion of... Like, you you're, like, you're in a vulnerable state. And it's take weird because of. I take it and I don't feel it at all. I will even say, man, this stuff's not working. And then I have this like five minute period of that weird, oh, whatever that is. And if she starts me talking in that period. It, usually I don't need to start it. He'll start it. The other thing he'll do is be like, he'll get I really in the, want to experience Oh, this. it is. It is actually crazy. Uh, he'll be like, man, 
he'll start this really deep conversation and just talk and talk and talk and talk. And I'm like, you know what's happening when it's well, happening? No, sometimes I don't know he's taking it. Yeah. So he'll talk and talk and be real talkative and just keep it going. And I'm like, and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, this is not, I'm like, you took Ambien, didn't you? Yeah, but it's not working. <laughs> I'm not feeling it. I'm like, okay, but I'm feeling it. <laughs> Turn your light off, go to sleep. That's hilarious. We had some friends over in California and, uh, they were getting ready to leave. <laughs> they, you know, the long goodbye drives oh me yes. nuts. Sorry. Right. So we watched a movie and the, we got up and they were getting ready to leave and they walked towards the door and I had to go to the bathroom. So I went in and used the bathroom and while I was in there, I was like, oh, uh, might as well take they're it. They're leaving. So, and it was late. It was like 1130. Right. And so I was like, and it does, it takes a little bit to kick in. So I was like, I'll take my MBN now. Not that long. And my, I have other pills I have to take at night too. And so I was like, I'll just pop these now. Yeah. So I come out of the bathroom, and they're doing the long goodbye, and it starts another whole thing. Oh, no. And while we're saying goodbye, it kicks my in. My Ambien kicked in. No. And if I'm not laying down when it kicks in, then I'm like, you know. It's impossible to get him to lay down if it kicks in when he's not. So I said a whole bunch of stuff to these people. I kissed oh, him no. on the cheek. No, I he was like, you know what, guys? Before you go, let's pray. I did that. <laughs> And Are I was you like, serious? I was like, oh, this is not. Did you normal. know he was on it, or you just were you trying to just I, go with it? Well, or? I was like, what? That's not. That doesn't seem normal. Because these are people that we see all the time. It's not like, oh, you know what? You guys are going let's on a long pray. drive tonight. I never say let's pray. Well, never. you might if they're going to go on a long drive. Or Maybe something. if we're never going to see him again. Yeah. Or like, you know whatever. So he's like, let's pray, and I was like, okay. <laughs> And the movie, can I tell the whole story? Like the movie it's, we had watched. Uh, it's so embarrassing. Was The Accountant. Have you ever seen that movie oh, with yeah. Ben Affleck? I love that movie, actually. And he prayed, God, I just want to pray for all the autistic people in the world. <laughs> I was like, oh. It was this... fresh on your mind. I don't know. I was I don't like, remember oh, it really. something's wrong. I do something's... know that I kissed them on the cheek when they Something left. is desperately wrong. <laughs> what were they doing? Were they just they, like. They kind of were like, what? One time we talked about John and Kate Sell in yeah. here. One time Kate was over at our house and I think she was doing something like she she's ridiculously handy like she can make anything creative creative and hand, I yeah. mean the stuff she makes is crazy yeah. but so she was helping me paint stuff like furniture she left he took Ambien she called back like 10 minutes later because she was going to tell me something he picks up I feel like how did we get on the same call I don't know it wouldn't have been I think maybe it was a three-way call I can't remember she wanted to talk to us about something he starts talking out of his mind, like gibberish. She's like, what? And I'm like, oh, he's he must have taken his Ambien. No way, it's fine. I'm here. I'm here. I don't feel it. It's not I don't working. feel it. It's okay. And I'm like, oh, God, just hang up the phone. Yeah. That's really funny. Oh, it's, it's, it, it's kind of funny now. But it, so we, when we, made, we made a record one time. And oh my gosh, this story. Jennifer and Jennifer and the kids went to their family farm in Missouri and I stayed back because we were mixing. And so I this, had oh to God. go to the mix engineer, you know, a couple times a mm -hmm. couple times a week. And so the record was finished. It was the day that it was all done and and it was like, I'll send you the final record. You listen to it on your home speakers and then It was the mastering, tweaks. right? Yeah. And so and this was really an accident. And so I that about noon that day or maybe at 11 in the morning i have a couple of pills that i do have to take in the morning in the afternoon and i took the two because i thought mm -hmm. and i realized as i swallowed them that i had taken two 10 milligram ambien oh, two no. that's and 20 so, milligrams of ambien and so of ambien. i was like oh man i didn't say oh man and so <laughs> i quick called the pharmacist and i said hey here's what happened I need to get this out of my system right away. And he's like, okay, where are you? And I said, well, I, we lived in downtown Franklin. And he goes, man, you can come over and get the syrup, but I don't think you're going to get it in time. Wow. And I said, well, what's going to happen to me? He goes, well, you're just going to fall asleep, dude. Like it's, right. and so. Or you're not. I right. drove, I got in my Jeep and I drove over to Sonic and I got the biggest Diet Coke I could get. <laughs> and okay, I, first of all, he shouldn't have been Why driving. Are you driving? Exactly. <laughs> Why are you driving? I, had, you I wanted. I had to get caffeine. Right. So I went to Sonic and I got a big diet coke and a coffee. And I was like, I'm going to suck these down and see if I can stay awake. And I stayed awake. And I he sent me the record and I listened to it. And he called me and he was like, What do you think? And I told him oh, who everything knows what, I thought. Who knows what you told him? So and then I hung up the phone and I just went to bed. <laughs> so the next day he calls me and he goes. Hey man, just checking with you. Do you have any tweaks or whatever? <laughs> and I was like, Hey, 
uh, I think it's great. I need to tell you that. So I told him what happened. He goes, yeah. oh, man, that does my heart good to hear. Because, <laughs> because that was the weirdest phone call. <laughs> I can. I would love to know what you said. Oh my I gosh. can only imagine because you say the weirdest stuff, okay. just like the CVS managers in our room. Yeah, like, that's yeah. weird. CVS is a big weird. part of our life. <laughs> but he's really close to the guy. <laughs> that's the only place you can get CPAP stuff. By the oh, way, yeah. you can't get it at Walgreens. But he will also like on Ambien eat, and I'm like, honey, you're sleeping. You need to go to bed. No, I'm not. I'm fine. And he's in mid bite going. <clears throat> <laughs> Falling asleep while he's eating. Falling asleep with a like a cereal bar or something half in his mouth. I'm like, babe, I promise you, you go to bed. I love that. Yeah. It uh, look. I I never when I was younger, I never thought that medication was going to be this much part of my life. I mean, I was the oh yeah. The, I, I wouldn't. I I avoided aspirin even if I had a headache. I'd be like, I'll sleep it off. Like mm-hmm. my aunt Vida thought you were a Christian scientist. She did because mm-hmm. I, but I I wasn't. I just. It, but now it is, and I, I, yeah, I hate it. Part of it. Yeah, I get my pills out at night. I'm like, God, I have one of those things with the days. I was going to ask. Yeah, you have like one the of old those. people yeah. things. Oh, I hate it. And I need to now that my blood pressure's up. I, I really need to exercise. I have Robert Beeson and I got Planet Fitness <laughs> memberships together. <laughs> that just cracks me up that you have that. A year and a half ago, we I got, was about to go get one. Well, we got the. the it was like ten bucks a month. Yeah, and Robert's so like, should we do it? I'm like, yeah, we should. And so we went once. <laughs> And you think I, I mean, Robert was like, he lifted some weights for like five minutes and then he did some more stuff and he's like, I think I'm good. And (laughs) and I walked on the treadmill and then that's the last time we went together. But I still go because they have massage chairs. (laughs) (laughs) That's why I want to go. He's like, I'm going to Planet Fitness. I'm like, he's like, I'm going to go. And I'm like, what are you going to do there? Because you're not working out. tanning and massage chairs. I'm in my jeans. He's in the red light therapy. (laughs) Yep. Yep. But they have a great little, you know, little massage chair, and you, you guys want on ninety six. Yep, yep. Yeah, yep. I'm joining. I'll see you there. Okay, see you there. You can sit next to each other <laughs> in the massage chairs. The Working only, out. The most workout I get is I go in the door, walk the whole way to the men's room, <laughs> walk back the whole way. That's my workout, <laughs> That's and the then workout. I go, hey, walk can the I use a massage chair? Stopping. <laughs> I love that. That is so lame. Well, we were. I was a member of Lifetime for a while. And <gasps> Ooh, that's that's, legit. that's that's expensive. It's too expensive, but. Yeah, I, I don't even that. know what it costs. I just know it's expensive. Well, it's not Steam the same room. scene as Planet Fitness. No, these no. people are legit working out yeah. at Lifetime. Planet Fitness is I mean, like you call it Planet Fatness. Planet Fatness. So when you go, I mean, it's a lot of spandex on a lot of body, <laughs> and you go into the men's room, and you know the gym scene is is weird because the like the dudes just walk around completely naked yeah. oh god oh and and we're talking the planet fitness crowd nobody wants to see that <laughs> yeah i mean i went in yesterday to use the <laughs> massage chair they i have, mean there was a 70 year old big natural dude. belt people well i mean and it was just, <laughs> yeah, i belt. walked in and he was turned towards the lockers and it was i mean his butt crack started oh, like at the middle of his back yeah and, no. went way down. and i was like oh man that's not what i want to see when i'm doing the massage chair but <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, how far are we in this? This has been such a little, little ways. Like, how, what are we? Fifty-three. Ah, oh, we got to end it. We haven't I, even talked I about had anything. Stuff to talk about. Uh, and this has been like such a. Should we just well, scrap this tease one? next episode? What's the next? Just, what What are we gonna talk about the next? Well, episode? the next episode is I am I'm I have a one of my favorite clients. She's out in uh, Colorado, and we're working through a book called Falling Upward, and it's kind of oh, like gosh. second half of life kind of stuff. I need to read that my favorite book oh do you know it oh man and so changed everything for jamie and i I don't even need to be here for we're gonna talk about that next well i wanted to because it's you know it's kind of where the three of us are it's kind of that first half of life (laughs) first half of life worked then that didn't work age thing but yeah you've i am the oldest one yeah tell us what it's like i mean you're in a whole nother decade that's why people need my advice because i'm older that's what it is yeah we're definitely older are you in? For, are you forty? I'm flipping you 41. off. Forty-one. You're forty-one. Okay. So oh my we're, gosh! We're you're our 40s. just a child. Young yeah. buck. Big, big young buck. Big young buck. <laughs> nice rack. <laughs> That's the name nice of your rack. band. That's your artist name. <laughs> young buck. Yes. Big young buck. This is my, my rap. All stage right. Name. So, uh, anybody want to promote anything before we go? Are you, are you gone? <laughs> yes. Well, I'm. I'm on. I'm on tour. <laughs> <laughs> you're going out by yourself. I don't want to promote anything. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm going out on the honest tour. No. Let's pray. 